renaissance. They're producing more oil, and they're going to for years to come, and that's only good for the U.S. economy. Amen, Phil. Good to see you. Let's hope Iran right, does David. not, nothing happens. Uh, Phil Flynn, thank you so much, Phil. Take care. My next Thank guest you, says it's time to get off of foreign oil and get on with the Keystone XL pipeline. Re Republican Congressman Lou Gomery, that congressman from Iran, pushes the president to sign off on this pipeline. Well, it should, but he doesn't always do what's best for American and American energy. Uh, we've seen him uh, put a stop to drilling in the uh, Gulf Coast, and uh, they're slow walking that right now. In fact, what Art Laffer is to a free market economy and a robust American economy, the president is to killing off energy. You know, your prior guest just said uh, energy production is up. It's because of what happened in the Bush administration. You can follow the last three years of this president, and at every turn, they have tried to prevent American energy energy from being produced. Heck, we've got uh, the biggest fine since Alaska, some are saying, in North Dakota, and this president's out there having but, uh, the oil companies but, prosecuted for a few ducks dying, but, whereas they're not doing anything, the windmills that are chopping up thousands but of birds. Congressman, there are a few things going on related to this pipeline. You have a presidential election year, a pipeline that would clearly right. create jobs. Chamber of Commerce yeah. putting big pressure on the White House to sign off on this sure. for the very jobs that it would create. You bet. And, and I'm hoping that he will, but he's afraid of the left uh, not being with him, not being the uh, foundation he needs for the election. Why else would he be talking to the Taliban about uh, releasing Taliban prisoners uh, at a time that it would signal to Iran, we're gutless, we won't do anything if you go in and block the Straits of Hormuz other than impose higher uh, sanctions. Well, so this president's got to take a strong stand and let Iran know that blocking the Strait of Hormuz would be a, a pro provocation for a, a military strike in addition to getting the Keystone Pipeline done. Leave the, the production companies alone as long as they're producing it cleanly in North Dakota right. and other places. They're shutting things down in West but Texas again, it gets doing back all this to the administration jobs. can. You think that the president, That's right. You think the president would turn his back on a pipeline? He's got, what, uh, less than 60 days at this point that would create potentially Dagan, thousands just, of jobs. It would create I, I thousands understand. of jobs. It, it would, but he had, he had put off doing anything about it until the Republicans in Congress were pushing his hand on it. But look at what the EPA did just recently. They're going ahead with the stringent requirements that are going to require coal plants all over the country to be closing down, losing jobs, coal miners out of work. But with the you would think, well, gosh, that's going to cost thousands of jobs. He's more concerned about keeping the left right. on his side at his foundation going in. But now, I hope he'll go ahead and let Keystone go through. We need the jobs, we need the energy. Okay. But that hasn't always dictated what he's done. Congressman, it was great to see you. Congressman Lou Gomert, be well. Dagan, thank you. Thank you for you're joining You're doing a great me. job, Dagan. Hey, good, hey good you're welcome you. back. Hey, you can come over to my house for dinner just for saying that. Congressman, hey, thank Art you. Laffer has the best spaghetti and meatballs. You need it sometime. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Not even a million dollars in ads supporting this Democratic senator could keep him in the race. Guess who he's teeing off on today?